Good happy Wednesday morning. I'm Riley King and welcome to your news and weather update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. Let's get started. First up, Manchester School District seeks too close six million budget gap. Let's take a listen to this video from WNUR News 9, Siobhan Lopez. Being is the number one killer among women and men, so it's time to aim for a healthier trend. Don't brush aside the symptoms, pay attention to what you feel. So remember, eat healthy, get active, maintain good levels, and don't smoke. So make choices that are smart, and give a little love to your health. Sign up today for Imagine Better at DartmouthHitchhop.org. News is health and wellness news. Manchester School Committee members listen anxiously as Superintendent Dr. Bolgan Vargas lays out how the budget for fiscal year 2018 is $6 million in the red. Our enrollment is declining and we have been declining for quite some time. With fewer students attending school in the Queen City and more unused space than ever before, the district says it may be time to take a serious look at redistricting or finding ways to consolidate schools. There were rumors they would be cutting 120 positions. Vargas says if they were to act today, they would eliminate 18 jobs. Between now and, let's say, the opening of the school year, we... I uh, feel confident that this number will be much less. Vargas proposes closing the central office and moving it to West High School, reducing the number of school resource officers for the middle schools, and finding ways to manage things more effectively and efficiently. With all of the superintendent's proposed reductions, they would cut the gap down to just over $1 million. Several committee members applaud the superintendent's efforts and say the numbers weren't as bad as they expected. I'm willing to bet the conversation for the next week, so perhaps month, would be about what we lack, what we don't have. And I'm here to tell you that we have a lot to be pleased and to be proud of. Well, tonight was the first time the committee got to see the superintendent's proposal. They say they expect they'll have more questions once they have more time to look at it. Live in studio, Siobhan Lopez, WMUR News Now. Okay, and there you go on that report. Cruise and Concord make room for more snow. Let's take a listen to that report from WMUR News 9, Mike Cronin. It's the number one killer among women and men, so it's time to aim for a healthier trend. Don't brush aside the symptoms, pay attention to what you feel. So remember, eat healthy, get active, maintain good levels, and don't smoke. So make choices that are smart and give a little love to your health. Sign up today for Imagine Better at DartmouthHitchhop.org. News is health and wellness news. Granite Staters out celebrating Valentine's Day are accustomed to seeing snow this time of year, but with the potential for more of the white stuff tomorrow, the storms and snow banks are starting to pile up. We're used to it. I've been here in New Hampshire my whole life, so it is what it is. Concord could see several inches Wednesday, creating a challenge to find a home for more snow, but it's become routine for the city's general services, which typically clears snow from sidewalks about seven to ten times a year. And that's what they'll be doing tonight, prompting a parking ban along roads in downtown Concord from midnight to 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. The best thing they can do is just make sure they have their cars out of this area by uh, midnight tonight so we can get in there and do the work uh, between 12 and 7 so they can come back and get that fresh cup of coffee uh, tomorrow morning. Crews began clearing Main Street last night and will try to finish the job overnight to make way for more snow. It was kind of a sleepy winter to begin with, but uh, certainly the folks in your weather department have delivered uh, two memorable storms back to back. and. Uh, we're going to have another one Wednesday to freshen up the banks, but uh, winter's here, definitely. With a little more than a month to go until the first day of spring, there's still plenty of chances for Mother Nature to make up for what had been a mild winter until last week. It's going to happen eventually, you know. And we got dumped on, like, the other day, so. Right. We got, <laughs> we got pretty lucky all winter, so I feel like it's, it's our time now, you know. 
So during the parking ban, people can park for free in garages throughout Concord until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Concord, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9. Okay, and there you go on that report. Pedestrian struck by car in Farmington. A man was taken to the hospital after being struck by a car Tuesday evening, Farmington police said. Police were called around 7.15 p.m. to Main Street where the pedestrian had been struck by a Toyota RAV4. They said it was unclear whether the man had been crossing the street or exiting his vehicle at the time of the crash. The man was conscious when he was taken to Portsmouth Regional Hospital. The woman driving the RAV4 was not injured, police said. Authorities said speed and alcohol do not appear to be factors. No charges have been filed at this time. Ethics offers urges White House to consider punishing Conway for Ivanka Trump comments. An independent government ethics office has urged the White House to probe and potentially discipline President Donald Trump's advisor Kellyanne Conway for comments she made supporting Ivanka Trump's clothing line. Trump Associates communicated with su suspected internal officers source. U.S. authorities were concerned with and probing communications between associations of President Donald Trump and suspected Russian intelligence officials in the lead-up to the 2016 presidential election. Sources familiar with the matter confirmed to ABC News. And now let's take a look at your weather. And your weather for today. Cloudy with some snow or mixed showers possible. Very little accumulation. Highs in the mid-30s. For tonight, clouds and a few snow showers, possibly in the evening. With steadier snow, mostly light overnight. Lows in the 20s. And that does it for your news and weather update right here on the Riley King Radio Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Wednesday. Goodbye, everyone.